Okay. Did you just come from practice? Yeah. Where else? So, you going to Boston to visit Louise? I wish, but he won't let us. He won't let anyone in this family see him in jail. I'm so sorry. Do you have any idea when he's going to get out? Not yet. I still can't believe Sheridan Crane is the one who put him in there. Well, you know, it'll work itself out somehow. It will. I know. As if Louise would ever hurt anyone intentionally. I just hope Louise and Sharon get past all this by the time Ethan and I are married. What did you say? It's gonna happen, Whitney. Sooner than you think. Today is the day Ethan realizes he is in love with me. Okay, now what are you up to, Teresa? It's the perfect plan to make Ethan realize he's in love with me. Give it up, okay? Yes, Ethan is going to get married soon. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be to Gwen Hotchkiss, not you. Huh. Well, remind me to thank you for all your support at my rehearsal dinner. That's if I invite you to the wedding. And I think you've been my best friend since kindergarten. I am still your best friend, Teresa. That's why I can't stand by and watch your heart get broken again. But it won't be. I mean, even Chad thinks I have a chance with Ethan. So you take Chad Harris's opinion over mine? Well, why not? I mean, he knows Ethan pretty well by now, and he's seen the two of us together. Oh, please, he doesn't know the first thing about love, okay? His only experience has been one-night stands, which hardly makes him an authority. Well, he knows more than you do. And I think if you gave him a chance, you both might learn something about love. Okay, you're whacked, all right? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want anything to do with Chad Harris. Besides, he's leaving Harmony. He's probably already gone. Oh, that's your loss, Whitney. No. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Well, I think you're just relieved that you won't have to fight your feelings every time you see him. I don't have to fight my feelings for Chad Harris, Teresa, because I don't have any. I'm saying that I like Chad. Look. When I fall in love with someone, he's going to be someone more like my dad, who's dependable and hardworking and who has the same values that I have. Chad is just, it's just so not my type. Wait, you're not experienced enough to know what your type is. Besides, Chad definitely has a thing for you. Oh, yeah, right. It's called, let's give Whitney a hard time because she's an arrogant, stuck-up snob who doesn't know what she wants. Okay. Okay. Do I have to squirt you with this to wake you up to what anybody else can see? I'll bet if you give Chad the slightest opening, they won't leave harmony. I'll stay in town to be near you. Well, he's not going to get the slightest opening for me, okay? So, you know, with any luck, I've seen the last of Chad Harris, which is so okay with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! No, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You are so wrong, pal. We'll see about that, my brother. So, Teresa, why did you want to meet me here? I had the best idea for the wedding. Are you going to tell me or are you going to make me guess? Nope. I am going to show you. Come on. Just need a change. Okay, you got me here. So what is it you want to show me? It's right there. And that's it? Isn't it wonderful? I thought it would be the most perfect way to leave the church after the wedding ceremony. Well, Teresa, I don't know. Well, don't say no until you hear more about it. I think it would be very romantic. It's nice. I mean, I pictured... Gwen and me leaving the ceremony, one of our family's limousines. Yeah, but you can do that anytime. I think your wedding day should be special. Something you remember forever and always. Come here. Sit down. Relax. And close your eyes. And imagine you're riding off with 
the woman you love to begin your new life together. Keep your eyes closed. What for? Trust me. Okay? Now imagine it's a beautiful spring day. The air is clear and filled with the fragrance of fresh flowers. The sun is shining down on you and the woman you love. The woman you've just married. And now you're riding off into your life together. Holding hands. Happy and safe and full of hope because you know life is exactly the way it's supposed to be. I can see it. You turn to your bride, you take her in your arms, and you kiss her. Like magic, rose petals flutter down from the sky. It's the most romantic kiss you've ever shared. You're kissing the woman you love, the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with.